Most of the debate centered on whether or not to split up JCPS and whether or not doing so would solve the district's problems. What we've asked for, especially with respect to the splitting of the district, is to study the issue. We're not demanding that that happen. I think it's the right thing. State lawmaker Jason Nemes says JCPS is too big to be effectively managed. But Corey Schull, vice chair of the Jefferson County Board of Education, says there is strength in size. No offense, Representative Nemes, but it's terrible Republican policy because Republicans are supposed to be um, economically conservative. If you divide the district, you're going to need four or five superintendents. Nemus says he called teachers in his district who left JCPS last year. Every one of them that I called, and I didn't call all 23 of them, but I called 12 of them. Every one of them said, I'm leaving. Some of them in the 30s, some in the 40s. I'm leaving because I'm scared of the kids, and I know central office won't back me up. How does dividing the district help us to find a solution to discipline problems? At times, the two talked over each other. But why are students bringing weapons? Because they know there's no consequence. No, they're bringing weapons because they don't feel safe in community. I, I, and when people don't feel safe in community, yes, yes. they take their safety into their own hands. And that's, that's not a JCPS problem. Well, and that's why I'm that's so thankful for what you've problem. done on the, on the metal detector. Thank you for that. You were the leader of that. Thank you for that. A hint of a debate that may be coming to Frankfurt in the next legislative session. Mark Vanderhoff. WLKY News.